It's a big game at the weekend, coming off the back of two defeats. How have you been preparing for the jersey? We've been preparing like we would any other week. Um, the last well, the weekend, the result has been kind of a line drawn under. Um, back for this week, looking forward to jersey at home. Um, it's just usual processes um, and get things kind of rolling again. What have you been working on so you can get it right this weekend? Um, it, this league is it's very kind of similar week to week. Uh, it all starts with set piece, so we've got to have our kind of the, certainly from the forwards perspective, we get our scrum line out kind of ticking, um, and then the bats can do their thing. So kind of those processes are pretty simple really. It's a pretty competitive league, so oh, you must be expecting a tough match. Yeah, hugely so. We um, spoke to a couple of other guys earlier to, to press and things, and, and it is a ridiculously uh, competitive league now with the way it's been going the last three years. Professionalism increasing every year and the development of players. Um, it, it's no, e kind of no easy games. Yeah, so um, just a little bit about yourself. So your background, how did you get into rugby to begin with? Um, well, I've got a fairly steep family tradition of rugby players, um, so I kind of was taken along with my older brother to my local club, as most of the players would have done, uh, and kind of just got involved in, in the mix, really. So uh, how did it start out? It was your first team. Uh, my first team would have been Ely Minis, um, which is well, my, kind of my local club in Cambridgeshire. Um, we just went back on Sunday, used to play some rugby, have a can of coke and a and a refresher bar afterwards, and that, that was me. And how did it progress from there? And then just kind of school got a bit more competitive, a um, few county things, um, and then you just kind of notice, especially when you get to sixth form age, that um, rugby, I really wanted to pursue it um, and kind of go as far as I could with it. So you realised you had a talent early on, how did you get cherry picked? Um, oh, I, wouldn't say, I wouldn't say cherry picked, I was just kind of right place, right time. Um, I, I don't know, I just enjoy it. I've always been fairly competitive in rugby and I wanted to, to do it. It wasn't really anything else on my mind, I just knew that rugby was the, the path I wanted to follow. But uh, I had a small, tiny stint with Northampton Saints and, and then some kind of lower league uh, national clubs, Starbridge, um, and then kind of taking me to Nottingham now. Yeah, so uh, a little bit, a bit of background on your yeah. personal life. What does uh, Rupert Cooper do to enjoy himself? Um, lots of things. I'm, I'm a very, if you ask any of the boys, especially the ones I live with, I cannot sit still for more than two minutes. So there's always something they're doing, but kind of make up jobs as we go. But I'm, I'm a very avid cook um, and I kind of do a lot of coaching within the community as well. So I'm, I'm kept fairly busy on, on those two fronts. Do you cook for the boys and you live with? Yeah, well, we try and, try and share it, but it's, it's mostly me. Um, as I said, because I enjoy it. It's not because I, uh, they can't cook, but um, I enjoy doing it. And, you know, if you want to eat, you let's eat well. What sort of dishes do you put together? You name it, I can do it. I haven't got, I haven't got a particular specialty, but um, I like anything Italian, anything European, like French. Um, it's, uh, it's not uh, too fussy for me. What do the lads enjoy the most? Um, what, what do they enjoy? A Mexican lasagna, they like. And our Finley Barnum loves a fish pie. <laughs> what do you put in your Mexican lasagna? Mexican lasagna, well, basically, uh, it's like a chili base dish, but then you've got used tortillas as your lasagna sheets, a bit of cheese, and maybe a bit of guacamole on the top. So oh, it's, 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 it sounds all right. Yeah. So, uh, was there anything other than rugby when you was growing up that you was really into? Any other sports? I played most sports. Um, I, was, I was lucky to go to a, a very sporty school, um, so I was kind of exposed to football, cricket, um, hockey, any other sport. I could get my hands on basketball. So I think that, it, well, certainly I say it to any kids I coach, don't just pigeonhole yourself. Play as many sports as you can to become the most uh, rounded athlete, sports player you can, really. Do you think that helps you through life? Oh, certainly. It, it just gives you an understanding of different sports and. Uh, and how to, to play an attacking game and how to win, ultimately, because the more competitive sports you play, um, that desire hopefully is, is carried through to uh, later life. Yeah, so um, what's your like career goals now? What's your plan for the rest of the season, personally? Um, well, as a group, we've, we've already set our goals out and, and top four is certainly in mind and I think we're, we're more than capable of doing it. Uh, personally, I just want to make sure that the position I'm given at the weekend is mine um, throughout the season. I really want to hold on to it and play as well as I can for, for the club and personally. And if you had a, a blank canvas now and you could yeah. plan out your career, yeah, follow your dreams, yeah. how would you see it go? Is it, have we got some financial stipulations on this or is it go hard? Um, well, I want to play rugby for as long as possible because it, it, we're very fortunate, uh, myself and the squad and any other professional player you speak to, and we play or we get paid to do a job that we love and training every day is very uh, unique and, and uh, well, fortunate position to be in. So if I could play for as long as possible, um, that would be fantastic. And then potentially, if, I, if, if, if money wasn't an issue, I'd open my own restaurant, ideally. Okay. 
And where would you put that restaurant? Um, well, Westbridge is probably not a bad location. It's, uh, everyone likes to eat out there, and we've got a good little uh, market, I'm sure. So, but if not, I'd somewhere on the south coast of France. A particular cuisine? Again, French Italian. Keep it simple. Keep it tasty.